In this video, we're going to be using PAA Space Knock and the PAA Starling Stainless Steel Prototype Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, Use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, we are back. And the first order of business today is to announce the winner of the HCNC, let's show it to you, stainless steel bowl, which you know I like a lot. We put this up for giveaway a couple of weeks ago, and we used the YouTube random comment picker, and it has selected the Shaving Disciple. So thank you, Shaving Disciple, for entering the giveaway. Please send me your address to cdb at imcdb.com, and I will get this out to you. And don't worry, folks, we got a lot of additional giveaways coming up. Uh, one might still be ongoing right now, I can't really recall. Anyway, let's get into the products. Today. today we're going to be using PAA Space Nog, which is a Christmas seasonal sort of soap. And man, I really like the scent on this and it's it's kind of dark uh, just to, to look at it. I got the CK1 version, which was $14.95 for four ounces. And on a cost chart there, $3.73 an ounce, which is a good price. This is a vegan soap. I'll put the ingredients for you on the screen uh, right there. I like buying the CK1 formula. For me, it's a better value, and I don't need all the additional butters and skin elixirs and so on that's in CK6. Both are good formulas. I get a great lather with CK1. I'll show you a lather shot right there. I don't have any problems getting a nice creamy lather with CK1 or 6. Both are good quality soaps, in my opinion. The notes, I'll put on the screen for you for this soap. I love the scent. It's got a nice, the scent is pretty robust, at least medium high. You got brown sugar, nutmeg, vanilla, light cinnamon, tonka, a little bit of uh, bay rum in there or spiced rum. It's a really nice scent and I look forward to using this today because it smells great to my nose. And it just, you know, I love these Christmas themed soaps. It gets you in the spirit of giving and just, you know, just having a great time overall. Okay, the razor for today is the PAA. This is a prototype razor, not available yet. This is the Starling and you know he had the Starling in aluminum. And this one is stainless steel. And let me tell you, it is heavy. Um, with this handle, which for me is just a little bit cumbersome, it's 4.7 ounces on my scale. Might be a little bit different on yours. And so what I'm gonna do is replace this handle with my Jurgen Hempel titanium handle right here. And that takes a full ounce off of this razor, which I like. Now this is a gem style razor and it uses blades like this, which sort of uh, resemble a paint scraper blade. It is not. A paint scraper blade so don't go to Lowe's or somewhere and buy blades for your gem style <laughs> razors because they'll probably be a little on the rough side I think I saw Matt Lawrence not too long ago who has a YouTube channel using one of the paint scraper blades and it did not go well <laughs> so these blades made for shaving are far more refined so make make sure you get the proper blade all right so we've got it assembled with the Jurgen Hempel titanium handle and this brings it down to 3.7 ounces from um, 4.7, it makes it feel a lot better to me. I just think the razor feels a little hefty because it's got you know a pretty good size head on it. Note that he sort of removed those nubs that people complained about on the aluminum version. So we'll use this again today. I've used it one other time and we look forward to using it and see how it goes with a little less weighty handle. I also want to remind you, now this is a DE blade, not a gem style blade. These uh, Phantom Strangelets or Platinum Strangelets, not Phantom. You never know with Douglas. It's going to be a space, going to be a ghost, going to be something. He has come out with these blades, which, which I've been using for quite a while. And for a while there in my videos, I would say I'm using a blade and I can't tell you what it is. It was this. This is not a rebrand, according to Douglas. This is a brand that he and Mantic 59 sort of gave them, or, or Mantic 59 cooperated with Doug, gave him some sort of specifications on what they would like in a blade. And he had these manufactured and they're available now at PAA. So I wanted to show those to you just to let you know they are available now if you're interested in the blade and I have used them. They're nice, but today we're not using that blade because we're using a gem style razor. All right, enough talk. Let's get into it. <laughs> I'm going to start by misting the face and this is just plain water and misting it just gets my face uh, wet without needing to get water all over the place. And it distributes the water very, very nicely. 
And we have a very nice lather today with our Space Nog. And man, I think this is the first time I've ever used this soap because I never uh, bought this particular offering. And the lather is nice. It's got sort of a, I don't know, maybe a beige color to it. Smells great. It was no problem whatsoever to lather. It was soft, but it didn't move around on me in the bowl. And it worked just fine. It wasn't quite as soft as some of the other soaps that sometimes I don't like to use, but all of them will work, folks. Please keep that in mind. Uh, really nice lather here, and it smells great. This is really nice. So if you haven't tried Space Nog, and those scent notes sound um, good to you, you know, give it a look. I try to link everything for you below, or at least the things that are available. This prototype is not available yet, obviously, so you can't buy it, but um, wow, that is nice. We got a nice lather here. This is beautiful. Woo, this is what, <laughs> this is what we like to do. Just have fun, have an amazing shave every single day. It's fantastic. And I wanna, wanna thank you all for, for being here and, and uh, just being uplifting and, and uh, you know, being a blessing. That's really what it's all about, isn't it? All right, here we go. And this gem blade here has about six uses on it, I wanna say, so it's probably nearing the end of the road. The first few strokes there were just fine, no problem at all. And again, the, the head on this is, you know, it's pretty large, but it's nice. And we do have a bump right there, so that's not anything that I've cut, by the way. Um, so far, this feels nice. This is, I've used this for a head shave and a face shave. Um, I think I've only used it a couple of times so far, and it does feel nice. Um, it is just quite weighty though. For my taste, it's probably a little heavier than I like personally. But it is stainless steel and people have been asking for stainless steel. And so, you know, Douglas, he tries to deliver when people want something. And he has certainly done it here with this one. And he's made some modifications based on feedback he's gotten from people, so. That's always nice when they listen to feedback and sort of make some adjustments. And he has been doing that with his Starling razor for sure, because this will be like the third version. He had two aluminum versions, I think, if I'm not wrong. And so he sort of tweaks it as he goes based on the feedback that he gets. And that's always nice to sort of take feedback and see what people are enjoying and try to, trying to uh, develop an enjoyable product. So far, very nice and smooth, I gotta say. So no problem, but I would say, I would tell you right now, now this is a prototype. Keep in mind, this may not be the production version. If you are averse to heavy razors, this might not be your jam um, because it's, it's quite heavy. Now, I like having taken an ounce off of it with the titanium handle, but I will say, in doing so, it makes the head a little more weighty and... You may or may not like that. If you if you prefer a little more balance in the handle, then that might not be something that you would like. Personally, it's okay either way. It's really all about what you prefer. Um, so, you know, do what you do, uh, or do the things that make you happy in terms of giving you the type of shave that you like. And, you know, my personal philosophy is it's your shave, do it your way. And as long as you're, you know, you. You're uh, adding something positive to the community. You're always welcome. And uh, enjoy the products, you know, the way you see fit. Um, but we do want to keep it uplifting when we want to keep it positive because that's really what hobbies should be, right? We're not here to, to bring, in, bring each other down and drag each other. You know, we're here to show you these products. And, and I want you to understand something. I come on here and show you stuff every day, and I love doing that. You are under no obligation ever to, to buy anything. So buy what you like. If you just buy a couple of things a year, that's okay. Buy nothing, that's okay too. But the options are available for you. And so I love showing these options and I love the opportunity to meet new shavers. New shavers are commenting every day and going, hey, I found your, I found your channel. You know, I'm trying these products, I'm loving it. And that is just fantastic. That's really what it's all about. Well, number one, have fun. Number two, really advocate and try to grow this hobby in a positive way. And uh, that has been a tremendous amount of fun the last couple of years, and now it's better than ever. So I wanna thank you all for being part of that because you all are. And if you're sort of not on board with the 
you know, being positive as part of your enjoyment of the hobby, you won't be here. It's as simple. <laughs> so thank, thanks to those of you who are committed to uh, making it a nice, positive, smooth ride for everybody. We really appreciate you. Okay, let's get into pass two here. Very nice. Again, this is a hefty razor. Uh, honestly, here on the soap, we haven't talked much about it yet, other than the scent. I find the CK1 to be perfectly good. Like, I know a lot of people really talk about the CK6, and I think most of that is uh, due to poche properties and all that stuff. And, and you know me, that's not a concern of mine, because I have my own poche routine that handles all my uh, poche needs. And that, that, I think, is the most effective way of doing it. And it certainly is for me, but a lot of people really talk about CK6 and they sort of ignore CK1. I would say don't do that. Um, check out the CK1 on occasion. See what you think, because you might find that it's um, really, really fantastic and it gives you everything you need and maybe you don't need to spend the extra money. Or if you do, that's okay too. Whatever works best for you, do it. I find that for my use case, um, CK1 is, is more than adequate. It's very good and I enjoy using it. And so I will always buy CK1 if given the opportunity. And, and in fact, sometimes when he doesn't release it in CK1, I'm like, ah, you know, <laughs> like that, but come on. So don't forget that there are lower cost, this lower cost version is available and I don't think you're really um, compromising personally. Um, and if you need additional, you know, post, you can always buy his star jelly or any other poche product that sort of meets your needs. So just keep that in mind that he does have the CK one, which is, you know, 1495 for five ounces, which is a good price. So I really appreciate him having this line still. Um, and I hope he never gets rid of it, honestly, because it's what I prefer to buy. And if he does get rid of it, then I would be more selective about the scents that I buy and only buy the ones that I absolutely want. Because, you know, although I do buy a lot of stuff, it doesn't mean I want to spend more, <laughs> you know. So if you get good value from your purchases, it allows you to do more of it. And for me, it allows me to showcase more products. And I just enjoy doing this, you know. That's why I want the labels on the products looking nice. I want them to be in good condition. I want to try to honor the products as best I can, you know, in presentation. And I'm not the best at it, but uh, I do try to honor the products as best as I reasonably can. It doesn't always, you know, I don't always do the greatest job, but, you know, I work hard at it. And so I've done a tremendous amount of work the last couple of years trying to just really uh, make sure that everyone is aware of traditional shaving and these great products and all these wonderful companies and you know how many great people are in this community like uh, Jason from the Razor Company giving so much. Douglas here from PAA, he always gives back. If something is needed, he's always there. There's just so many great people that are willing to to give and, and dig in their own pockets and help others and I think that's fantastic. So uh, I hope you will be inspired to also give this Christmas season. And I want you to know that not, um, I don't publicize everything that I do. So there are things that I do outside of this channel routinely in the way of giving. And the only reason I'm telling you that is because I hope it inspires you to do it too. So it doesn't always have to be public, you're giving. And in fact, I rather like doing it quietly. So um, I know there are many of you in the audience here who have been on the recipient end of that. And I hope that lifted your day and lifted your spirits. So don't think just because you don't see a giveaway every single day that we don't have things going on here on the channel. And I hope, and the only reason I mentioned this, I hope it will inspire you to give as well. So if you can, and you see someone in the comments today, you want to brighten their spirit, make a connection with them, you know, send them something nice, send them uh, something that you have. Um, we do a lot of that here and it's, it's really a blessing. It's fun to give. And you see people like the Jason from the Razor Company. And last um, last week we did that give a, giveaway show and I gave away five gift cards. Jason gave away a ton of stuff, hundreds of dollars of stuff. It was just fantastic. You can't have any more fun than that, just lifting people up. And so 
I hope that will inspire you to also do it. That's what I'm driving at here. Because it really is um, a great thing to be able to help others and lift their spirits. So, all right. That was very nice, very nice and smooth. Love the scent of the soap, love the feel of the razor. Just excellent. Let me rinse, then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off cam. We did a warm water rinse smooth soap, and then we used our PAA alum. There was no staining there, so super smooth shave. No nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Excellent shave following the alum. We did a cool water rinse, and then we towel off with our Lancaster towel. Prior to using the magic made by witches, this is Thayer's Witch Hazel uh, Cucumber with Aloe, which I really, really like. I had an excellent shave today with PAA Space Nog. Love the scent, love the quality. What's not to like? I really enjoyed it. Space Nog, available now, one of those seasonals from PAA. We used the PAA Starling prototype razor. This is stainless steel, not available now. It's, it's in testing. And I replaced the stock handle, this one, with the Jurgen Hempel titanium handle just to lighten it up a little bit. And I had a smooth ride today. It was a nice shave. And again, my feedback on this is very, very heavy. So for people who like super heavy razors, you may like this. If you're averse to heavy razors, you probably won't, or at least that would be my guess, um, because this baby has got some heft to it. But uh, excellent shaver, I really enjoyed it. We used our PAA Atomic Rocket Brush, and it's riding in our Lancaster Razor Works brush soaking mug. And we shall finish it off today with PAA Space Nog Splash. And I remind you, if you're going to buy both the soap and the splash from PAA, make sure you buy the combo because it is cheaper. He does offer a discount if you buy both at the same time. And man, I'm looking forward to this because I really enjoyed the scent today. So we'll slap a little of this on. We're gonna be having a great day and making people merry, I hope, trying to be a blessing. And it's what I hope all of you will do as well. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate you. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, as long as you're being positive. God bless.